What's up everyone? My name is Alicia. I'm from Better Than Your Mama's Cooking and I'm an ambassador for Beer Tells Pizza Dough. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a traditional cheese pizza. All the exact measurements will be down below in the recipe. So let's get to it. Now that we have our pizza dough stretched, we're going to start layering on our favorite toppings. Now I made my own sauce, but you absolutely can use your favorite store-bought brand or if you're like me, just whip up a quick tomato sauce. So we're gonna take one ladle worth. You actually wanna start from the inside working out. Always adding the sauce back into the center. I'm getting it right to where your crust will be. Now, if you really like a saucy pizza, add more. Personally, I think that about maybe two, two and a half ladles worth will be plenty. Now that we have our sauce on, we're going to top with our cheese. Now I used whole milk mozzarella, freshly grated. Um, you don't wanna use the pre-packaged shredded cheese. It's just not gonna be the same. If you're using the packaged stuff, sometimes it has a little bit of a film on it and we don't want that. We want this to melt really nicely. So just do yourself a favor, give yourself enough time and shred that cheese. Just by the handful, just start sprinkling on. Kind of in the same, same way you put the sauce on. You wanna start in the middle and work your way out. I think that looks great. So I've been patiently waiting. The timer just went off. Let's go get this pizza. I'm not sure if I have to tell you guys this, but wear gloves or you'll burn your hands off. Okay, safety first. Fresh out of the oven, how does that look? We cooked this at 475 for about 20 minutes. All right, now that our pizza is all done, I'm just gonna hit it with some extra TLC. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil on top, just like that. I love some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. The more cheese, the better. And then I just love fresh basil. Put that right on top. Perfect. It literally smells like a pizzeria in here. And you can do this all from your home. You just need basic fresh ingredients and patience. Delicious. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for cooking with me today. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Check out more of our recipes on our website.